Hi, I'm Shanna Jimenez. I'm a certified group exercise instructor and personal trainer. I'm certified through the American Council on Exercise. I've been in the fitness field for the past eight years and I've worked specifically with older adults in strength and flexibility as a means of balance and maintaining independence. I'm inviting you to join me in a gentle stretching program designed specifically with the older adult in mind. All stretches can be done sitting or standing, so you'll want to have a good sturdy chair with no arms, and you may also want to have a nice stretching strap or a hand towel right next by. You should check with your doctor before starting this or any other exercise program. Stay in a pain-free range. Have fun. Let's stretch. Welcome. Let's do some gentle stretching for the neck, the shoulders, the spine, the hands and wrists and the ankles, and we'll do some strength as well. So let's get started in our good, tall, seated posture. Let's wrap our shoulders back and down. Let's lengthen our spine right through the top of our head. So we've got an imaginary string right in the top of the head, reaching for the ceiling, helping to pull us up nice and tall. Our feet are about hip to shoulder width apart and are flat on the floor. Let's take just a moment to sit in this tall posture. So we're not leaning into the chair, we're using the muscles in our back to support us nice and tall. Of course, if you need to take a break, feel free to sit back in that chair and relax your back at any time. I want you to make sure that you do everything at your own level, a nice pain-free range. Everything we do today should feel good. Let's start with some breathing. So I'd like for you to take a deep breath in, Noticing the breath, noticing what's moving, and even noticing the depth of the breath. Let's stay with that for just a moment. Breathing in, breathing out. See if you can hear the sound of the breath. Again, feeling the depth and noticing the pace. Now let's go ahead and place a hand right on top of the belly. On your next breath in, see if you can make that belly move away from you. Move that hand with the belly. And as you exhale, let the hands sink in towards the body. Let's do that again. Nice deep breath, expanding, and a big exhale, releasing. So as we inhale, the belly expands, the hand moves away. As we exhale, the belly draws in and the hand moves in closer. Let's take one more deep breath. And exhaling. Let's hang our arm at our side. See if you can maintain that breath as we move through our stretching. Let's start in with our neck. So inhale first. Now as you exhale, just gently lower the chin to the chest, keeping your spine nice and tall, pain-free range. Let's take another breath. And as you breathe in, go ahead and bring that chin right back up, right back to where we started. Let's do that again. Inhale, nice tall spine into the belly. And as you exhale, gently lowering the chin to the chest, just like you have a little string of pearls in the neck there. On your next breath in, imagine you're stacking that string of pearls, bringing the head right back up on top of the neck. Great, let's change direction just a little bit. So take another breath in. On your exhale, I'd like for you to bring your left shoulder towards your left ear. This should again feel good. So shoulders are relaxed. So if you feel the need to bring the shoulders up, I want you to pull them back down and maybe to bring your head up a little higher. 
Let's take another deep breath. Coming back up to center and exhaling. Inhaling, lengthening that spine. Now exhaling, bringing right ear towards the right shoulder. Keeping the depth of the breath. Let's take a breath in as we come right back up to center. Let's do that once more. This time we'll hold just a little bit longer. So inhaling, exhaling, left ear to left shoulder. Let's stay here for a breath in. Exhale, relax into the stretch, bring your neck up a little bit if you're in pain. On your next inhale, let's come right back up to center. Inhaling, exhaling, right ear to right shoulder. So just should feel like your muscles are melting into the stretch. We're not forcing or pushing. Let's take another breath and let that breath go. On your next inhale, gently bring the head right back up to center. Pause for just a moment. Let's do that once more. This time we'll hold just a little bit longer. Inhaling, tall spine. Exhaling, left ear to left shoulder or towards left shoulder. They won't touch. Find that melting sensation through the muscles of the neck. Let's stay here for another breath. Exhale, relax those heavy shoulders. On your inhale, gently bringing the head right back up to center. Stay here for your exhale. Inhaling again. Now exhaling right ear towards right shoulder. Nice and easy. Let's take another breath. Exhale, relax. Inhale, come back up to center. Right back to our neutral spine. Inhale. On your exhale, let's go ahead and look over our right shoulder. Even looking out the corners of the eyes. Let's take a nice breath in again. As you exhale, let's come right back up to center. Inhale again. Exhale, this time turn and look to the left. Take a breath. Exhale, come right back to center. Let's do that again. This time you can add the eyes and we'll hold just a little bit longer. Inhale, getting tall. Exhale, turn and look to the right. Now stop before you experience any pain. Just keep it comfortable. Now look out the corners of the eyes, all the way to the right. Another breath in. Another breath out. Let's stay here for one more breath. And on your exhale, let's gently come back to center with the eyes and with the head. Let's inhale. Exhale, turn and look over your left shoulder. Again, just stay in that pain-free range. Now use the eyes, look as far as you can over your shoulder to the left. Inhaling, staying tall. Exhale, keep those eyes looking over your shoulder. Let's take another deep breath. And as you exhale, let's unwind, eyes and head. Moving down into the spine, still sitting nice and tall with those shoulders wrapped back and down. Let's start with a side bend first. So let's hold on to the, the right side of the chair. We're going to dangle the left arm, lifting our spine nice and tall. I want you to think like a rainbow as you lift that spine up and tip over. So just like a rainbow lifts all the way up nice and straight and, and angles over, that's what we're doing with our spine. So we're turning our head, looking towards the floor, taking a big breath in, lengthening that spine. Now as you exhale, just relax into your stretch. On your inhale, use your rainbow spine to come right back up to center. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Holding on to the left, lifting the spine, rainbowing over to the right, looking towards the floor with the neck and with the eyes, 
opposite shoulder stays open. Let's take a big breath in, lengthening the spine. With that exhale, relaxing into the stretch. Now use your inhale to pull yourself right back up to center. Let's do that once more, holding just a little bit longer. So again, hold on to the right side of your chair. You have a secure grip there. Let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rainbow spine over to the left, nice and tall. The shoulders stay open, looking towards the floor with the head and with the eyes, breathing deeply. Big exhale. Let's take another full breath cycle, full inhale. And a complete exhale. And let the inhale bring you back up to center, nice and strong. Holding on to the left, let's lift. Exhaling over to the right. Looking towards the floor with the head and the eyes. Inhaling, lengthen to that spine. Exhale as you relax those shoulders open, relaxing into the bend. Let's take another full breath cycle. Complete exhale. And as you inhale, come right back up to sitting tall. Great. Let's move into a forward bend. So what I'd like for you to do is, again, imagine that you've got a string of pearls going down the spine. So your spine are the pearls. So we're gonna slowly just round forward, rolling forward, bringing the arms out by the knees, and just tucking the chin, rounding the spine. Let's take a big breath in. And as you exhale, relax into the forward bend. Now inhale, I want you to use that string of pearls and stack those pearls to pull yourself all the way back up, sitting tall, wrapping the shoulders back and down and bringing the head up very last. Let's try that again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chin to the chest, nice and gently, rolling down the spine, pulling those pearls away from each other as you round forward, bringing your arms around. You can bring your hands towards the legs. Let's take a full breath cycle here. Exhaling completely. And inhaling, pulling the string of pearls right back up, one pearl at a time, stacking rolling the shoulders back and down, and bringing the, he the head up very last. Great. Let's take a big inhale, lengthening that spine again. Exhale, relaxing the shoulders back and down. Let's go ahead and bring both arms around behind, holding onto your chair, your sturdy chair. Let's roll the shoulder blades together. I'd like for you to take that string out the top of your head and put it in the chest bone. Let's inhale and lift the chest bone up towards the ceiling, opening the chest, opening the lungs, even feeling the abdominals opening, lengthening. This is your posture stretch. So if you're looking for a way to improve your posture, do this stretch. Let's take another big breath in. Now as you exhale, let's slowly release right back down to where we started, arms at our sides, sitting nice and tall. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, let's exhale, roll those arms back, hold on to the chair, rolling the shoulders open, putting the string into the chest bone again. Inhaling, lifting the string up towards the ceiling. Exhale, relax those shoulders back and down. Let's stay here for a full breath again. Inhale, looking up to the ceiling with the eyes. The neck is in total control, nice and strong. Now as you exhale, lower the chin. Let's lower the, the chest, coming right back into our neutral posture. Excellent. Working into a spinal rotation. Remember that stretch where it feels like our spine is like a spiral staircase? Let's do that nice and controlled. So let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw the belly towards the spine. Let's go ahead and rotate around to the left. Hands come along our sides. We're looking over our shoulder to the left and out the corners of the eyes. Let's inhale, length into the spine. Let's exhale, let's slowly unwind, belly to spine, turning with the eyes, the head, and the spine. Let's do that to the other direction. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, draw the belly firm, rotating around at the waist to the right, hands come along our sides, we're looking over our shoulders again and out the corners of the eyes. Inhaling nice and tall, and now let's exhale, belly comes to the spine, we unwind, eyes, head, and spine. Let's do that once more. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, draw the belly in, rotating at the waist, coming around to the left, looking over your shoulder, look out the corners of the eyes, taking another breath in, lengthening the spine. Exhale, relaxing into the stretch. Find that spiral staircase going up through your center, that's your spine. Let's take another big breath. Big exhale, relax into that stretch. Let's do one more breath in. And as you exhale, let's gently unwind, eyes, head, and spine. Once more to the other side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, belly to spine, rotating around at the waist, going to the right, looking over our shoulder, looking out the corners of the eyes, inhaling, lengthen to the spine. Exhale, relax into the twist. Let's take another deep breath. Deep exhale. Make sure this feels good. If not, make it a little bit smaller. Let's take one more breath. And as you exhale, we're slowly unwinding. Eyes, head, and spine right back to center. Let's do a different stretch for the spine. It's knee to chest. So what I'd like for you to do is take your uh, right leg. In fact, if you have a hip replacement, I'd like for you to not do this. Just stay sitting nice and tall, working on your tall posture, working on the, the strength and the length in the spine. We're going to bring our left knee into the chest, just hugging this leg in. Nice and easy, opening up through the hip, releasing through the back, breathing deeply. Now let's lower this foot back down to the floor. Controlled, good, so we're not plopping it on the floor. Let's do the same thing to the other side, bringing right knee into the chest. So we're holding on beneath the knee, drawing the leg in towards us, staying tall. Feel the release through the hip, the release through the low back. Let's take another breath. And again, with control, exhale, lowering that foot to the floor, sitting tall. Let's do that once more on each side, inhale. Exhale, left knee into the chest, gently hugging that leg in. Now maybe this is as far as you can go with this, that's all right, if you're able to bring it in a little farther. Do what works best for you. This is all about you, remember. Let's exhale. Let's take one more breath in. On your exhale, gently lowering that foot to the floor, sitting tall, let's change sides, inhale. Exhale, bringing the right knee up into the chest. Again, just find that pain-free, comfortable range where you can feel the hip releasing, relaxing. You feel a stretch in the low back. Take another breath. And as we exhale, let's lower this leg back down to the floor, sitting tall. Moving into the shoulders, let's dangle these arms at our sides. Go ahead and lift your shoulders up to your ears and lower them down and lift and lower. A nice smooth glide, gliding those shoulder blades up, gliding them back down, nice and easy. Find that breath, so we can inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Let's do that once more. And release, good. Bring your left hand to your right shoulder Right hand goes to left tricep, opening up through this whole shoulder area. So take a breath. As you exhale, you can gently guide this arm over the shoulder, pain-free range, of course. Now notice I'm not lifting my arm up, I'm drawing it towards me. You may be way out here and that's okay too, that's still a stretch. Take a breath. As you exhale, let's release. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So bringing right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right tricep, taking a breath. 
Again, on the exhale, maybe you hold right here. Maybe you guide this arm over the shoulder a little bit. This is your opportunity to pat yourself on the back and tell yourself you're doing a great job. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, let's release this arm right back down to our side. Let's do a different stretch for the shoulders. So I'd like for you to bring your left hand to your left shoulder. We're going to bring our right hand just beneath the elbow on the tricep. Go ahead and guide this arm straight up. So the elbow is really close to my ear here. It's not fanning open, it's staying nice and close. Stretching through this tricep, stretching through the shoulder a bit. Nice deep breath. Another opportunity to pat yourself on the back. On your exhale, let's go ahead and lower this arm back down. And let's do the same thing to the other side. So left hand to left shoulder. Right hand just beneath the elbow on the tricep, lifting this arm up. Now remember to do what you can here. I work with lots of people who can't get this arm up any higher than this, but that's, that's where they need to be. So if that's where you need to be, then stay right there. If you're able to do this pain-free, then that's where you should be. It's all about you. You should feel no pain. And if you do, you make it smaller, right? Let's go ahead and release this back down, arms to our sides. We'll shoulder roll. Now let's go ahead and bring these arms out in front. I'd like for you to just press the arms forward or press the hands forward, reaching through the palms, opening up the fingers. Feel that strength in the arms as you reach forward. Now go ahead and point the fingers towards the floor. Open up to the top of the wrists. Relax through the fingers, give them a little wiggle. And let's go ahead and bring them back up. Pressing and back down, pointing, and one more time. Reaching up and down, and then give those wrists a little roll, lowering the arms, releasing through the shoulders. And now let's change direction. And let's bring our arms down to our sides. Now let's scooch back in our chair just a little bit so we can use the back for some support. Let's go ahead and just lift our legs out to the front using the top of the thighs. I told you we'd work on a little bit of strength today. So we're gonna get some strength in the top of the thighs or the quadriceps. So I'd like for you to point those feet and then flex and then point and flex. So you should still be sitting nice and tall in your spine so we're not slouching even though we're sitting back against the chair. We're still using the muscles in the back. Let's do that one more time. Point and flex. Now, if you have a hip replacement, I'd like for you to put your feet flat on the floor and just rest for a moment. If you do not have a hip replacement, we're gonna do just a few little ankle rolls. Please do not do this if you have a hip replacement. Just take a little breather and relax. Ah, that should feel good on the ankles. Now let's go ahead and change direction. It's really important though to keep the ankles flexible and healthy, which is what we were doing with the point flex. It's good for our balance, it's good for walking. Let's go ahead and plant these feet on the floor. We're going to come up into some standing postures and work on a good standing position. Um, we'll work on a balancing posture and even one for strength and flexibility. So let's come up to standing. We're going to go ahead and move our chair off to the side. So you at home, go ahead and take your chair. Let's move it to the side. We're gonna have the back of the chair handy so that we can use it for support. So let's go ahead and stand nice and tall in a mountain posture. Feet are hip to shoulder width apart and we've got this chair to hold on to. I want you to take just a moment and feel the feet beneath you. I want you to make sure your body weight is planted evenly between the soles of both feet. I want you to lengthen that spine and wrap those shoulders back and down. If you want to let go of your chair, you can do that. It's always there if you should need it. Now let's go ahead and take a big step back with the left foot, maybe a little step forward with the right. So we've got a little bit of an uneven stance for balance. Take just a moment and find that the soles of those feet again, your body weight is still evenly distributed between the soles of both feet. Let's go ahead and bend this right knee Make sure you can see your toes sticking out past the knee. Feel that stretch going through the back of the left lower leg, right through the calf. We're balancing here, so I'd like for you to find something right in front of you to stare at, which probably is your TV. 
So stay real focused with the vision to help with balance. Now go ahead and take this back foot. I want you to find a little bit of power. Push through this back foot and bring it up to meet the front. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So let's take our right foot back this time. So we've got that uneven stance again. Flatten those feet out, open up the toes, and take a minute to feel your body weight again, evenly distributed between the soles of both feet. Shoulders are still wrapped, our spine is still tall. We're going to go ahead and bend this front knee just a bit, making sure we can see our toes past the knee. I'm gonna step back just a little bit farther press my heel into the floor, feeling a stretch going through the back of the right leg. Good, notice your balance. Hips are facing straight ahead. Let's take a breath. Now as you exhale, I'd like for you to push through that back foot, push it, bring it up to meet the front. Good, let's try one more balancing posture. So we're gonna back up, so we're right alongside of our chair. We're going to go right into a, um, a single knee raise posture. This is for balance. So go ahead and transfer your body weight. I want your body weight all in the right foot, right leg. We're going to take this left leg up, bring the foot up off of the floor, just lifting the knee. Find that tall spine. If you're able to let go of the chair, go ahead and do that. You can bring an arm overhead if you wish or hold on to the chair. Let's take a breath. Exhale, bringing the foot to the floor with control. Transfer your body weight into the left foot and leg. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So now we're bringing the right foot up off of the floor. Maybe your toes stay on the floor. You can stay there or go ahead and lift this leg up. Let's take another big breath in. Tall through the spine. Our support leg or this left knee is soft. This is our support leg, the one that we're standing on. Now with control, I'd like for you to lower this foot right back down, right back down into our mountain posture. Nice and tall. Again, feeling your body weight evenly distributed between the soles of both feet. I'd like for you to turn towards your chair. We're gonna pick up this chair and put it right back onto our mat. We've done some strength, we've done some stretching. We're coming around to sit right back down into our chair to finish up with our final relaxation. So I'd like for you to take just a moment and find that tall posture again. Find where you feel comfortable, but relaxed. You can leave your hands on your lap if you'd like, or dangle them at your sides. Take just a moment. Think about what you just accomplished. And I want you to find something that you feel grateful for. Maybe it was that you were able to participate in this program. Maybe you feel better now than you did when you started. Find something to feel grateful for. And when you find that something, I want you to find something else to feel grateful for. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is. Just take a moment to find gratitude. We can always find gratitude. Let's take another big breath. Exhale, relax your arms at your sides. Thank you for joining me. Come back again. Namaste.